If you've just picked up a Samsung Galaxy A53, then you may want to ditch these annoying adapters and grab yourself a set of wireless earbuds. But which ones do you go for? Well, today we're going through the differences between these budget ADVs and with the official Samsung Galaxy Live Buds. Let's kick things off with these ADV headphones. We've chosen the ADV wireless headphones due to their competitive price point and great performance. In my testing, these connect quickly, provide decent audio quality and volume, while still having a good battery life. They also charge via USB-C, so you can use the same charger as a Samsung A53. Or, if you prefer using a wireless charger, just pop them on that as well. This is great at such a low price point. The buds each have a touch controller on the side. One tap will play and pause the music. Then two taps will skip forward and three will go back. I like the touch controls and they seem to be very responsive. But you just have to remember when you're adjusting the headphones to be careful as it's very easy to pause or skip the song if you press on the wrong part. The build quality of the buds seem really good and solid, so I have no concerns here. However, the build quality does drop for the case. It doesn't feel as premium and does feel fairly plasticky, especially when compared to the Samsung ones. That being said though, it does the main things well. With having strong magnets in to ensure the headphones stay in the case rather than falling out, you can also attach a lanyard to the case, which could be handy, but I think it's small enough to fit in most pockets. The battery life seems to live up to the claimed 25 hours. And most importantly, they are comfortable in my ears for long periods of time. They also stay in when I shake my head around, so they're not gonna fall out when going on runs. Overall though, these headphones hit all the right areas well and come in at a low price point. Next up, we have the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. Now, these are the premium headphones from Samsung and do have a few bells and whistles. For a start, they definitely sound better than the ADVs for music. They sound a lot more full and have a better soundstage. They also include active noise cancellation, which works fairly well in my experience. However, I don't think it's as good as my AirPods Pro noise cancellation. This is mainly due to the headphones not being the same type. These Samsung headphones are less of an in-ear headphone with a rubber tip and more of a plastic nub. This creates less of a seal in the ear and means noise can leak around the headphone itself. Surprisingly, they actually stay in my ear very well and don't fall out. They do make it less comfortable for me though. I really feel like there's something in my ear pressing in when compared to the ADVs. Now, moving on to the case, it feels a lot more premium than the ADV one. The plastic feels premium and it still has USB-C charging and wireless charging. The headphones attach to the case with magnets, just like the ADV one. However, they don't really stay in and can fall out if you move them around a bit. This might seem stupid when you're shaking your hand on a desk like I just did. However, when I take my dog out for a walk, I'll have my open headphones in one hand with the lead and in the other hand, I'm picking them up and putting them in my ears. This means if my dog pulls on the lead, then the headphones are gonna fall out and in worst scenario, could actually fall down a drain. The battery life on these headphones seems around the same as the ADVs in our testing. Where you can see where the money is gone is the microphones. They sound much better when you're on calls in comparison to the ADVs. Now I've already said these sound a lot better when you're listening to music as they are more full. However, I did find myself preferring the ADVs when it came to podcasts. This means if you're someone that listens to podcasts all day long, you may prefer the ADVs. However, if you're someone that's on calls or just listening to music constantly, then the Samsungs are the easy choice here. So there you go. 
Two similar headphones, which are very similar in some ways and not so much in others. Let us know in the comments which ones you would pick. To purchase either of these headphones, check out the links in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please drop us a like and subscribe.